What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of Play to Win. We've got a record currently at 32-2-0 and we're going to be going back into another game with the, the main team this time around. We don't need to use that second team for this game. We're going back in with the main team, which consists of Robin, Robin Van Persie, Nani, Ramirez, Gustavo, Alves, Marcelo, Dede the centre-back, Santana, Thiago Silva and Manuel Neuer. And the first guy we come up against a 4-3-2-1 team, a pretty decent Portuguese league team. Not the best of midfields. They're really uh, the Portuguese league and Portuguese midfield in general, apart from obviously you know Ronaldo, um, isn't really great. And this guy was actually a subscriber, so uh, kind of feel bad about what happened in this game. But guys, if you want to purchase any FIFA Ultimate Team coins, check out FIFAcointrader.com. Their link is in the description. Very fast and reliable service. So we take a one-nil lead after just six minutes. Danny Alves scoring that god lasso and putting us in good stead to continue this win streak on. And as I say, the record is currently 32-2 and 0. And after a very early two-nil lead with Van Persie, you can kind of gather that this game is going to go just one way after two goals in 12 minutes. And um, that is fortunately for me my way. Um, we do manage to pick up a third very early on as well, 24 minutes in. Arjen Robben scoring a very tidy finish there whilst also being fouled. Um, thank you guys for your support on the previous video. Of course, I did say get it to you know, around four or 5,000 likes and, and that's what we were going for and you guys are just awesome with that. And if we could go ahead and get the similar sort of likes for this video, that would be absolutely awesome. I have got some pink slips coming up for you guys soon. Um, hopefully in the next day or two. I'm trying to figure out what the prizes are gonna be essentially uh, we're gonna do players i think players like we're we gonna do team of the season players um just trying to figure out what we're gonna do with it how i'm gonna edit it how we're gonna how we're gonna go about doing it so on and so forth but the, like i said the pink slips are gonna be coming up uh, fairly soon and uh, like i said this game against the subscriber i kind of um kind of was a little bit better than him let's try and put it uh, try and put it mildly try and put it nicely just a little bit better than him um, so yeah, I mean, all all is well, and uh, we're we're in this in this series now. We're getting quite deep into this series. And in the last episode, I asked we was talking about the ultimate team, and the response I had from that was ridiculous. Like so many of you guys recommending me your ultimate teams, and what it is is I've actually got like a lot of different um, a lot of different people basically that have offered like some people you know for example. Everyone has put, not everyone, but like 80% of the people have put like Dede the centre-back or Santana as a centre-back or David Luiz as a centre-back. So what I'm going to try and do is look at all the teams that you guys send me as we come up against a, another team for this episode, a 4 triple two Bundesliga slash Podolski team. Um, what I'm going to try and do is just pick out the most common players from each position. Look at all the teams you send me, pick out the most common players from each position and pretty much go with that as the ultimate team. And you guys are as conflicted as me in the um, in what you expect from a certain position. Like so many people argue that finishing isn't actually important for a striker because because of the way ultimate team is, um, you can have a striker with like 60 or 70 finishing, but as long as they've got good pace and strength, like you're going to get into so many shooting opportunities that you're bound to score the goals. Um, but then again, so many people were, were kind of like, no, that's that's nonsense. And, you know, obviously finishing is very, very important for a striker. And then for a defender, things like positioning and interceptions and stuff. Some people overlooked that. Some people thought that was important. Same with work rates. Some people think work rates aren't really that important. Some people think work rates are deadly important. It's just, it's going to be really, really tough to build an ultimate team. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to build a team that I think is like an ultimate team, right? And then we're going to do a Ruiner Randomer with it. And in that Ruiner Randomer, any positions that you guys really don't think are worthy, we're going to talk about it in the Ruiner Randomer. You guys are going to put in the comment section, you know, okay, so that right back doesn't actually look like the best. This right back so much better. You know, we're going to use him next time instead. And I'll just keep changing and adapting the team until we pretty much find a team that is absolutely dominant and just like completely shits on everyone. Um... There's a, there's a lot of people that do believe this year that the, the high rated players are good. There's a lot of people that do believe the, the low rated players are good. And there's a lot of people that believe that it's just about the in-game attributes that, that makes them. Because if you go to like Footwiz, right, um, it, it gives you an overall total of the amount of attributes the person's card holds, like completely. And there's a lot of like 77 and 78 rated players that have the same, if not more, 
attributes overall than like an 83 or an 84 rated player and I find that remarkable like, I, I find that so strange and it goes to show that in my opinion a lot of the card weight a lot of the, the rating on the card is to do with um, club stature and like who they are you know like because for example like I'll actually I'll get proper examples um, in another episode but something like Wayne Rooney is rated 89 he probably should be rated about an 84 if we're if we're being you know if we're being uh, legit so we come up to another game in this uh, episode guys we come up against a 4-3-3 team he's got Neuer, uh, Santana, Hummels, Alaba and Piszczek in defence he's got Farfan, Royce and uh, Elia uh, he's got uh, Gundogan, um, Goetze and is that Kroos, Muller, Muller or Kroos, Muller I think in defence. This game guys I had some serious serious issues. My PVR kept cutting out and giving me a black screen right. This is the first goal of the game five minutes in. I couldn't see the entire game up until the point where he scored like literally my PVR cut out. I don't know if you guys ever use an Elgato and when that happens um, you just get a blank screen you can't see anything and, and my screen came back after the goal had scored. Uh, he did go 2-0 up in the 29th minute with El Hero Elia and then once again a little bit into the game the, the the PVR cuts out he scores another goal there with Elia and there's literally nothing I can do about it and I'm so frustrated I was in a Skype call with like Bateson and a few of the other guys and I was so mad because I couldn't do anything to fix the game the guys scored three goals in four shots after 53 percent possession at half time um, I did manage to pull one back one goal back here Arjen Robin doing some good work on the edge of the box and uh, Nani scoring, sorry, Ramirez here putting it back into Danny Alves who scores. But unfortunately, after what happened in the first half, I was unable to, to come back and the guy ends up scoring a fourth goal here. Um, so I lost fair and square, I, I guess. Like I'm a little bit aggrieved that the PVR cut out, but I don't know how much difference it would have made. You know, obviously the first goal and the third goal, you know, had they not got in, gone in, it could have been different. But... I've got no complaints. I went on a fantastic run. Um, the series has come to an end now. Like I say, I'm a little bit aggrieved as to how it ended, but a loss is a loss, and they were the rules, and that is a 4-1 loss, hands down. You know, very even in terms of match stats. My passing was a bit worse, and he had a bit more possession, but that's because I couldn't see the, the, the game for half the time. And in the second half as well, there was like a 10 in-game minute period where I just couldn't see, and he didn't manage to score. So... Um, that is the first loss and the bringing this this series to an end. Um, so before we do end the actual the whole series, I want to take a look at the match stats and I want to thank you guys for joining me on this play to win journey. I've had a great time. 34-2 and 1 is the final uh, final record. So I did go 36 games unbeaten and lost in game 37. I personally think that's a valiant, valiant effort. I thought I did really well. Um, if you guys have enjoyed this series, it would be awesome if you could leave a like. And if you guys are glad this series is over, it would be awesome if you could leave a like. And um, we'll just take a brief look at the, the overall match stats. So in the end, guys, we've got Arjun and Robin scored 34 in 29, Van Persie with 31 in 29, and Nani with 25 in 29. And then Villa scored 8 in 8, and Jesus Navas scored 7 in 8. And then the next top scorer was Ramirez there with 6 in 29. So Benzema not really doing too great, just 6 in 8. Uh, Gustavo Alves, Santana Busquets, Silva, Marcelo, Maicon, and Jordi Alba all picking up goals here and there. But this is the end of the series now, guys. So thank you for joining me on this. Um, I'm tempted to do another series of play to win with a cheap, overpowered team. But before we do that, we want to find the ultimate team. So there's a lot to do before we ever start another series of play to win. I'm going to have pink slips coming in, ruin a random squads for profit. Everything's going to be good. Guys, thank you so much for joining me in this series, in this journey. And um, yeah, hopefully you'd like this and we'll see you next time. Peace.